switch gain stages uh, in, in riffs, like three times in a certain riff, four times in a certain riff. We run our set uh, off of a Pro Tools session live. So this Pro Tools session contains the click track for our drummer, it goes straight to his in-ears, to our in-ears as well. Uh, in this Pro Tools session, we each have our own uh, little MIDI lanes, uh, which we can program our patch changes into. And this Axe FX is hooked directly into the MacBook. This is basically told by the MacBook when to switch presets and what presets switch to. Since we have three guitar players, one thing that we have to do is dial back on our gain a lot. So we can all lock in together and not be fighting over each other in the mix. You know, if you're familiar with our music, there's a lot of very um, staccato, stop-start kind of stuff. If you're popping out in those parts, if you're making noise when you're not supposed to be making noise in those gaps, it can sound pretty terrible. <laughs> Lots of gain, pretty rich. Um, you know, we use that for bigger chordy sections. And then this would be the next setting, where I guess it's the um, it's the level two tightness we call it. It's a little bit more choked off. The noise gate makes it a little bit tighter. So that almost, you want elements of that really tight, almost unmusical sound, and then elements of that big rich sound that we had in the first gain level. This one, this third one, is, um, is almost completely unmusical. <laughs> like the, the noise gate is just shutting it right off. And we use this in extreme scenarios. Uh, there's a song called Insomnia off of the first periphery record. <laughs> Or if you want stuff like that, that's just the entire intent of the part is just to be almost like like machine gun staccato, you know, just notes and then shut off, notes shut off. But that's the three; those are the three gain stages, and um, we cycle through them really, really frequently, actually. Within um, this clean tone, I'll have different delay settings that I'll use in certain songs. So if we have, let's say, a song that requires a delay that goes at this tempo. It's basically just using the same clean tone that I use throughout the rest of the set, just applying that delay at a specific uh, tempo. We've been using that setup for about seven years now and it's, it's pretty awesome. Not without its sort of pains in the ass, you know, like we have to spend hours uh, before a given tour, hours and hours. Um, preparing this, you know, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not an easy task to sit there and, 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 and program everything, but once it is there, then it's sort of, you don't really have to think about what you're doing every single night. I could just be on stage left or stage right or walking around the stage without ever having to be like running back to my pedal board. <laughs>